What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more My Hero Academia, the strongest hero. And today, we're going to be going over this man right here, Aizawa. A lot of people, a lot of people are hunting for him. Now, getting to him is very, very difficult. And there's a couple things you need to make sure you're doing. Otherwise, you might get to the right level, but not have enough resources to actually get your heroes leveled up. So let's go over first what it takes to unlock Aizawa. So it takes quite a bit. First off, you need to collect three class A characters, not bad. Six A characters, not bad either. Getting the levels up to 50 is not bad either. When it really starts getting difficult are the ones down here. Upgrade three heroes to level 80, and then of course, upgrade six heroes to level 80. That takes a lot of work, especially if you're not spending that much at all or anything on the game free to play. Uh, the other thing is, of course, you're going to need some S tier heroes to get it done and then upgrade a class A hero all the way up to SS as well. So there's a lot of tough things here, but honestly, copies are copies. If you can't get the copies, it kind of sucks. You can't get to it. But the hardest one here, I think, out of everything is upgrading six heroes to level 80. So where we're at right now, we have about six days left on the event if you logged in the very immediate first day when the game came out. Six heroes to level 80. I just got it, I believe, earlier this morning. Uh, one thing you have to remember is if you are using All Might, All Might is not going to count as one of those level 80s because those level 80s have to be students. So I picked Uraraka, Kirishima, Tokuyami. You can kind of see I picked the top. And then, of course, we have Momo way down here. I don't know why I picked Momo over, say, like, Tailman, Ojiro or something, but you have to level 80 on heroes that are students. I originally thought I'd just get All Might up there as 80 as one of my heroes, but when you actually look at the rules of this, it does say right here they have to be, uh, well actually it doesn't say right here, but you can see all the heroes that qualify down the bottom that are in your list, and you'll notice All Might is not anywhere to be seen, so... Something to remember, you cannot do All Might as one of your level 80s, but getting to level 80 is extremely, extremely difficult. Not only are you going to have to take your heroes and get them leveled up by using, uh, you know, like the, the resources in the game where you have to actually unlock them, but you're going to be locked behind a food gate so not only are you gonna need like the jump ropes the sandbags all those things which again those take energy to farm up you make sure you have enough energy the biggest issue i was having that was slowing me down was honestly having enough food to actually get there so we'll go to like ojiro right here it takes a ridiculous amount of food to go from 60 to 70 and then 70 to 80 it takes a lot of a lot more food than you think and if you do plan on going for this you better plan on doing a couple things number one in solo supply runs you should be doing all 20 attempts of the cafeteria run every single day use everybody your bit of your stamina if you have to it's, it's your decision i know most of us that spend on the game are buying every single hero coin possible into uh energy into your stamina if you're not spending on the game, those hero coins are precious because that's how you're going to do your summon. So you have to decide which way you're going to go and what you need. But on your first attempt, you get some bonus resources. After that, you get these down here. Again, you're going to want to do 20 of 20, which is a lot of stamina. I think that's 125 times. You have to do that four times. So 500, 500 stamina a day to farm up that mater those materials. That is a lot. Now, there is a couple other things that do give you food. Whenever you come through and you clear these guys out here, you will get some food. I think you get like the blue tier food, but it's not that much. So again, you probably want to try to stay away from it. There are some ways to get food in the shop as well. But again, that's coins. You're spending coins to get like the takoyaki. Uh, the event shop doesn't have anything. Ooh, I forgot the event shop is now open. We can buy some shards. I gotta remember to do that. Uh, no, Night Shop. Alliance has some food that you can buy as well. You can buy five of them and it refreshes, I think, once a week. Uh, nothing in the Battle Shop there. 
Now the buff shop is a nice little feature. Stamina buff. Buff takes permanent effect after purchase, increases stamina limit by 40 points. Definitely that needs to be your first buy in the buff shop no matter what. Next up, other ones that I have bought, if you notice everything I bought has been stamina. Stamina gift buff, it lets you get an extra one from your friends every day. Well, I got two, no, I got three of them. So all those I think are very good ones to go for as well because they're kind of inexpensive. I'll probably get this one as well eventually. The other one I have not bought just yet is the stamina furniture buff. So essentially your furniture is gonna give you 25 uh, energy or stamina a day, I believe. This basically doubles it. But again, it costs 2000 That's very pricey. Don't know if it's worth waiting that long to get there instead of going for these easier ones. But if you are really looking to farm up and get as much stamina as possible every single day, make sure you're visiting the buff shop. These guys come from doing your daily quests here. So as you do these guys here, they don't come in the form of this, but they come in this. You can get 30, I believe, every day. I don't think there's any in any of the other boxes. I think it's 30 max. Yeah, it looks like it. So you get it from there. I don't know if you get it in weekly. I'd have to check, but right now I cannot do that. And then there's like one other place in game that you can actually buy some food. If you are in the Honai urban area and you go up to the very top left of your map, you'll notice there is a convenience store. If you go to the convenience store, there are going to be some food purchases. A lot of the shops in game, they're more like event items that you buy there and then you go in. The convenience shop is different and I haven't seen another one like it. I believe you can reset the shop or the shop resets once every day. And essentially you can buy five of the spicy curry and I've literally been buying each one. Now, granted, this does take quite a bit of cash. So if you don't have a ton of cash, you'll notice that's already one million, basically two million cash a day or 200,000. No, two million. Yeah, two million a day, essentially to afford this food. You have to decide if it's worth it, but you can buy five of each of these and it can add up. The other thing you can do is you can buy a lucky card every single day for 50,000. So normally it costs what, like 50 hero coins, I think to buy extra lucky cards, which allows you to get an extra flip. You can buy one every single day for 50,000 in this shop. I don't know what dried fish is for yet. I'm sure it's for some quest to unlock some unlockable something or other but yeah essentially it refreshes every 24 hours so make sure you are coming back every single day uh, i haven't found any other shop that has food like that if you guys know of one drop it in the comments down below i would love to know because i mean farming up food is kind of important in this game there's really no shops at all in the training area and i don't know about newtown yeah, Newtown really doesn't have any shops, at least that are on the map either. The only one that I do know of is right there. So if you really, really, really want to try to get Aizawa, because he is going to be that hero that is going to be your guaranteed on every arena PvP team out there, you are most definitely want to get all of his shards because you have to complete every single one of these hero trial assembles every single one of these quests to get all 90 shards to get them unlocked so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know what you guys think um i don't know how much of a video i'm gonna do about aizawa until we get into some actual arena pvp because that's really when he shines so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully it helps you kind of catch up because you got barely a week left and i'll see you guys next time